So the country is celebrating Black History Month. There are so many special sports moments to embrace. No one can forget the impact of Jackie Robinson in baseball or Muhammad Ali in boxing. And in college basketball, it was the team from Texas Western. I recently caught up with one of the members of that historical squad. It was a celebration at Faith Community Bible Church in Jennings. Neville Shedd. People came to see this man. You see, he's a part of basketball history. People said, Neville Shedd, or who are you? I said, Google my name. And they will see that Neville Shedd played on the 1966 Texas Western team who made it to the big screen with the movie Glory Road. Who ever heard of Texas Western? Comes the incredible story of the team that changed the game forever. Coach Haskins is starting five black players, a first in NCAA championship history. Something that's going over 50 some odd years, you know, carrying that record of being the first team you know, to do this and how it opened the eyes to all the major schools all over the United States. Texas Western. That team is so revered that in 2007, they were enshrined in the Basketball Hall of Fame. That's Neville on the end. A Hall of Famer. You know, uh, I'm in the, I'm in the uh, arena with some of the best basketball players in the world, guys that I looked up to, you know, the Bill Russells that I had a chance to be with for a little while. And because of that Texas Western victory over Kentucky 57 years ago in College Park, Maryland, today, everywhere the 79-year-old Shed goes, he hears things like this. I want to thank you for what you guys did, you know, because my father was a great athlete and didn't have a chance to uh, perform his, his, uh, his trade later on going to college. But what you all did opened the doors for athletes like myself. And a side note to that game, the most famous player in that game was Pat Riley, who was an All-American at Kentucky. He went into the Texas Western locker room after the game and personally congratulated all those players. And what do they say about Coach Haskins, who really opened these doors? Well, Mike, the abuse he took for putting five African Americans on the floor in the late 60s was overwhelming. But he didn't see color. He just saw winning and trying to make his players great.